This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by RidleyReport.com At news releases, I am the bomb. Traditionally, it was considered a lucky privilege to be born in the United States. On the other hand, people born in the Soviet Union rued their fate if they had any love for freedom. The problem with being born in a wicked superpower is that even if you leave, they can always hunt you down. Back in the day, if you opposed the policies of the Soviet government, you were much better off being something other than a Soviet citizen, regardless of whether you were actually in the Soviet Union. Slave masters are much more likely to come after someone who's escaped the plantation than someone who was never on it. And in an interconnected world... The same thing seems to be happening to some extent in the United States. For instance, look how much more cruel the treatment of Private Bradley Manning has been compared to the treatment of Julian Assange. The U.S. citizen is practically being tortured into an unhealthy state, while Assange is currently suffering a less cruel fate. My guess is that for U.S. citizens who choose to flee the country as part of their descent, overseas residency will not be a perfect protector. Of course, I guess we're all, or many of us are familiar with the CIA rendering process, where people overseas are collected and rounded up for torture. The U.S. is trying to rule the world for now. I'm not sure if I like everything WikiLeaks has done. I would have some concerns about them apparently uh, planning to release Swiss bank account information for private individuals. But one of the really undernoticed benefits of the WikiLeaks situation is the fact that it's mobilized the world against the United States government, mostly in a peaceful way. And as bad as the world might be in some areas, it's got a legitimate grievance. People who live out in it, people who aren't U.S. citizens, are the ones in the safest position to fight back this way. For American citizens, regardless of their location, it's a dangerous act. More dangerous than people realize at this point. So I guess like with the British Empire, you'll see the edges fray first. You're already seeing it. Is this what happens to you when you try to write or distribute a news release? Then I beg you, end the suffering. Deploy instead the man who got Mike Fisher's outlaw manicure front page coverage in nearly every New Hampshire media outlet. Unleash the writing force that put the Free State Project on CNN and Russell Canning on the front page of Dig. You know where to find this force. You are staring at it. Email it. Email me at RidleyReport.com And let's get to work. RidleyReport.com At news releases, I am the bomb.